Carly Fiorina is running to be the nation's CEO, and she has the resume for the job and the up-by-the-bootstrap story for the campaign trail. She started out as an office secretary and eventually worked her way up to CEO of Hewlett Packard, the first woman to lead a Fortune 500 company. And she either saved the company from the same financial ruin that devastated other tech companies, or she slashed jobs to save her own and then bailed out with a golden parachute. Fiorina takes aim at unelected bureaucrats and regulators and crony capitalism, she says, is practiced by a professional political class. There are a lot of politicians inside the system who are perfectly willing to sell access and influence for millions. Hillary Clinton. And she tells campaign audiences that the federal government is broken and corrupt and rigged in favor of the rich, the powerful, and the well-connected. Not only that, but it hasn't been able to fix any of the big problems facing the country, immigration, balancing the budget. And yet somehow the government never has enough money to do the things we want it to do. Ask yourself how that's possible. She goes on to say that she wants to simplify the tax code, taking it from 73,000 pages to three pages. She also wants to defend religious liberty and repeal Obamacare. As a small business owner, you cannot possibly believe that Obamacare is a free market. It is the furthest thing from a free market. It is crony capitalism at its finest. The arena who lost her daughter to drug and alcohol addiction also talks about mental health and substance abuse programs, perhaps more than any other candidate. My husband Frank and I buried our younger daughter to the demons of addiction. And so I know all too well and all kinds of things are coming across these borders. We have to secure them. In short, as Fiorina likes to say when she concludes her stump speech, citizens, citizens it's it is time. time. We must take our country back.